Well, hello everyone. For today's children's sermon, we're going to be playing a little bit of a game together. And in this game, I'm going to say a word backwards. And you have to guess what that word would be normally. Let's give this a try and see how it works. So the first word is serp. That's the word I'm saying backwards. And you have to guess what it would be normally. Let's give this a try. Serp. So what do you think serp is backwards for? Let's find out. Hers. Did you catch that? Let's try it one more time. Hers. Purse. So serp is backwards for purse. Let's try this again with another example. This time, I'm going to say the word foot. Foot. So what do you think that is backwards for? Any guesses? Let's find out. Swiss. Did you hear that? I'll play it one more time. Swiss. Tooth. Foot is backwards for tooth. Now, with this game, when I say these words, I have to really slow down and think about what I'm saying. And you at home, you likely have to really pay attention and listen to what I'm saying. Let's try just one more example. This is aidtherb. Aidtherb. Now, before I play this back, the reason we're doing this game is because in just a little bit, Pastor Sarah is going to talk about how if we really want to live this Christian life out, really live the life that God has called us to live, then we have to really slow down and think about each and every word that we say. And also, we should be very quick to listen, to hear what others have to say, just like we have to do in this game. Because the words that we say, they have a lot of impact on other people. They can lift people up or they can hurt them. And God has called us not to more rules, but to a life of joy for us and for others. And when we follow these instructions that we find in the book of James, we can have that for ourselves and for others. And one of the ways of doing that is being very careful with each word that we say and being quick to listen to others. So let's see what that is. Aid third. You ready? Did you hear that? I'll play it one more time. Birthday. So I hope this little game helps you remember to be very careful, to really pay attention to each and every word that you say and really slow down when you're talking to others and also to be quick to listen to what others have to say because that is how we experience joy in our own lives and how we share the kingdom of God with others. And I hope that helps you understand the sermon just a little bit better. Goodbye, everyone.